We have a very special guest in the studio this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Ta da! There he is, that lovely man that you'd recognise that smile anywhere. That is Meryl Osman, and we're going to be having a good old chat with you in a moment. Absolutely. Meryl, I didn't sleep last night. I was there, I got my briefs for the programme, and I go to bed with them at night, you see. And I, I was reading the brief about you, and they have got the Osmans, the ultimate collection, out on CD. And you have it, don't you? We you are, know, we are so hand. excited. It's amazing. Every single Osmond's hit on there. It's just amazing. can't remember some I of the ones. I couldn't sleep last you... night, Meryl. I, I, I forgot half of them. Yeah. But what the heck? Hey, what the heck? We'll on. be hearing about them later. Absolutely. Anyway, it's wonderful to see you this morning. You know, Donny was in a while ago. He was. And I know this might be hard for everyone to believe, Meryl, but I made a bit of a fool of myself. Uh oh. In front of him. Nah, mm. Not possible. Do you remember it? Yes. Yeah. Are you going to tell me later? Which, well, we're going to show people now, Ooh, I think. All right. How are you Are you yeah. all. Oh, nice to see you. Andrew, people. come here, give me a No, no, please. You, you stay right there. How? How? You are so funny. That is funny. the most undignified moment I have ever had. You know, not even Andrew. my husband is brought Andrew. on that reaction. <laughs> It is great to have Meryl Osmond here this morning. I wonder if any of you saw the documentary at the weekend, Being the Osmonds. It, it was it was grim stuff in places, Meryl. It really was, because we always saw you as the smiling, happy family, and a lot of stuff came out of that documentary. Yes, and I'm glad it did. I, I've talked to all the Osmonds after it, and we, we, we sort of cringed a little bit, not knowing exactly what they were going to pick and choose. But I'm glad that people uh, saw the tension a little bit because it was very confusing at the time because we didn't know which way the queer was going, zigging yeah. or zagging. Yeah. But we love each other and that's the key. Uh, Do you know, that came across at the end. It was so moving. We'll talk about the, the, some yeah. of the questions that were raised in the documentary later on when we have a longer chat. But do you know what really came across uh, as the sum of the whole thing was, was just what wonderfully decent human beings you all are. That really conveyed itself. Well... Thank goodness, because you know that, that if the end of, it all came to the end, if that was what we were known for, then we succeeded. Yeah. Because we truly do love each other, and and we're we're a lot wiser maybe because of all of our adversity. Uh, do you see? Each other? I know because you, Marilyn, you, Jay, and Wayne are, are still closely involved in a business sense. But since making that documentary, do, do you do you keep in contact more with Donnie and Jimmy and Alan and the whole uh, lot of you together? Well, the documentary, to be honest with you, was the one thing that's going to unite all of us to come back here. I'll tell you, there will be one last concert here. <gasps> Meryl, you oh. can't mean this, surely. It, it has to, because the fan mail, the email, the websites, it just is intensifying and building and building and all. I talked to Donnie two days ago and I said, Donnie, we got to do this mm. before one of us, you know, goes away. Yeah. So we, we've already made a commitment to come back to England, all well, of us. Please, Janine in Brighton. You, I was just going to say, did you hear that, Janine others. in Brighton, because she's phoning saying, is there a possibility the Osmonds doing a concert? Although it's wonderful to see Donnie, he comes over here too much now, <laughs> We've had, we're quite honestly, we're sick of him now. It was a novelty the first time, but it's lovely to see you. What, what, what I want England to see is Wayne. I want Wayne to get back with his rock mm. and roll guitar. I want people to see that. Yeah, that would be great to see that, yeah. he talked about that in the documentary. Listen, we'll Listen, chat lots more. I'm, I'm because holding we've this got hat and I look silly. And how are you so, so composed I'm, I'm, I'm when Meryl's in, in the studio? Here. Okay. We have to resolve this competition. We asked this question uh, yesterday. What was that? It was about. Oh yes, that's what it was. What's a baguette? Now we know the answer to that. That's a, a. Without that even illuminating, I knew that was a loaf of bread. And if you wouldn't mind picking out a winner for oh, us, the, what the an computer honor. puts them all in there. They're all winners. What an honor! Oh, oh, I, oh, oh. does that count? No. Oh, okay. Look, he's not looking. That's <laughs> I'm good. I'm not looking at all. That's good. You can take it out any time you want. There you go. And if go. you wouldn't mind holding it to one of the cameras yeah. and. Peter. Peter. Swan. From Berkshire. How would you say that? How would you From say? From Berkshire. Yeah. Berkshire. <laughs> Berkshire. All right, Morning, Peter. Peter. Congratulations. Right, that's a car. Convertible car coming your way. And Jackie uh, Joseph is going to uh, tell us how you can win another one. And in talking of Welsh, actually, you have Welsh ancestry, hey, don't you, You Mary better Osmond? believe it. Yeah. I didn't believe her. Have you well. heard of Hunza Stew? We no. used to wake up every morning with Hunza Stew in Wells. They used to make that. Our mother made tons of stew for all the Osmonds. Oh, because your because your mum's Olive Davis. Davis, and yeah. And there's the connection. And your great 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 grandmother is Welsh. Yeah. I think she hails from near Merthyr Tydfil or somewhere. Tom, right? Tom Jones is related to us. Richard Burton related to us. Yeah. What, Anthony you, you, Hopkins. Yes, Anthony Hopkins. And me, Meryl. You I've are. I've got Welsh descendants here. Uh, oh, oh, he's out here as well. I can feel a Donny <laughs> moment coming on, but I, you're more you're, dignified than yeah, Donny, you see. So I won't wrestle you to Absolutely. the floor or anything. <laughs> 
Now that we're all smiles this morning, as I say, but the documentary at the weekend really did unearth some some skeletons, didn't it? Really, it did. um, especially from you, because although Wayne talked talked very frankly, you all talked very frankly about what being an Osman meant, but you, I felt, had more disquiet than most of them about you. And and, and you just tell us about what that resulted in one day, Meryl. There was a very very graphic moment in your life where. You felt you wanted to end it, or wasn't there? Well, there's a lot of people don't know, but I have suffered my whole life with depression, and, and nobody was able to diagnose it early on. And no one has, and it's, it's still one of those illnesses that people stigmatize and say, oh, yeah. oh come on, pull yourself together. Yeah, you can they? do it, get up. Yeah. And, you know. But my, my problem was, you know, being in the middle of the Osmonds and, 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 and the pull between the young and the old and trying to keep everything going. Yeah. I, I just, you know, if, when you lose hope, mm. then, then there's nothing else. And mm. I was at a point where, I wasn't dating, and I wanted to date. I wanted to go. I wanted to go hang out with my, my buddies at school. I can't do that. And so, yeah, I, I came to that moment when I just wanted to give it all up. Mm. And in the in the in the in the, vo in the video, it talks about how I took a knife and almost did myself in. Yeah. But I got to tell you, there is hope, and there is a lot of light. Yeah. We just got to be ready for it when it comes. And uh, destiny came to my door that day. Well, you actually think there's some sort of divine intervention oh, no that day, don't you? no question about it. There, the divine intervention is there. We just need to recognize it. Mm. But what, what comes across with you and, and, and with Donnie, who I've met as well, and Donnie's son, actually, little Don Jr., yes. um, is, is the way that you take on a negative and you turn it into a positive. You, you really do think that bad experiences are something you learn from, don't so, you? Somebody that, that's great like me who's been through the war, it, they'll they'll be able to say if they don't if their ego doesn't get in the way, that everything that negative that's ever happened to you that was negative, was for your good, because if you can apply all those things and look at it as it is, you'll be a better person for it. You can tell somebody, hey, I've been there, I've done that. And you know Wayne as well, who, who who's had a brain tumor, had brain cancer, yeah. and, and has really suffered. He actually said the Osmonds gave me cancer. Yeah, I, I that believe that. That was one hell of a statement. I can believe that though, mm. because the stress of trying to be almost perfect yeah. in a world that's not perfect. Yeah, I know. Trying to measure up to whatever it is you're trying to measure up to, it's impossible. Mm. And Wayne put himself in that situation, and I believe because of that, those issues created that cancer. And I've had a long talk with Wayne just recently, but he is a better person now yeah, for having gone through it. Yeah, you it actually, and I think for having got a lot off your chest and for having talked to each yeah. other. Yeah. What about Marie? Because she didn't take part in the documentary, M did she? Marie, uh, Marie's here, by the way. Marie, wherever you are, call me. She's in England. Oh, so. is she? Yeah, she's doing QVC or something. Oh, because she sells her dolls, doesn't she? Yeah. 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 Uh, M Marie. I've talked to Marie quite a bit. She loves her brothers intensely. Yeah. Marie has also been scarred by a lot of the issues yeah. that happened. Uh, there were strains between Donnie and Marie. Uh, I would called Marie, but she also had a lot of scheduling going on. And I wish Marie would have been in the, in, in the film, because yeah. Marie has a lot of things. To, she's got to get off her chest, too. Yeah. Well, maybe she should do what you do. Maybe we should have our hair yeah. on our little couch, Meryl. Get yes. her to open our heart That's up. Right. <laughs> do you know what? I could talk to you all day, mm. but we've come to the end of the program, unfortunately. Yeah. It's really great to see you. You are getting back together for another concert. This and. Is Go this on. is what you got to get, guys, because next time I come over, you got to learn all the songs because we got to sing them all together yeah. in concert. And that's mine. That's yours. That one's mine. Thank I'm you. Yeah, you only bought one win. Awesome Thanks, Mel. The ultimate collection. I'm going to get <laughs> Thanks, my buddy. CD by my bed tonight. When right. I go to bed, I'll be. Keeping you dangling and hanging on a thread, please give it up for the man himself, Meryl Osman. Take a few, sir. Wow. Thank you. Look, I'll take a bow. Say, the hiss, oh. honestly, it just doesn't change, does it? Look, women are swooning. Yeah. <laughs> they are swooning for you. They are the greatest fans yeah. in the world. They are. We they love are you all. They are so loyal, aren't it's they? It's no I'm wonder you guys always loyal. have such an impish glint in your eye, because when we pulled up today, Melinda and I on our little um, well, our our motorbike yeah. and sidecar, <laughs> like George and Mildred, <laughs> uh, there was a young lady right in the centre there. She, not only has she got you on her T-shirt, but she's also got you on her bag. And she was she there does. first thing this morning as well. I, I mean, hope you've got a slice of the merchandising deal for that. Well, <laughs> well I tell you, I t it, it, never, it never fails. That little gal right there, she travels all over the world. She comes to see us in, in, in Missouri and in Utah. I don't know where the... I don't know. She always follows us everywhere. Aww. And she always pets me on the butt. <laughs>
That kind of attention would worry me, but <laughs> I you're kind of used to it. it. I mean, it's been yeah. many years that you've been in the limelight. So. I know. How are we, how, we're 40, how many? 46 years. <gasps> Okay. We're going to keep doing it till we get it right. <laughs> <laughs> I think you may have done that. Uh, so what brings you over here at the moment? You know, we're so excited. This compilation album, you oh, see this I've thing? Got it. He's nicked it already. I hope you bought another one. <laughs> oh, did, did Donnie one. bring it on too? Well, it would be nice. <laughs> oh, well, we'll, we'll get <laughs> him over here. This is fair. Fantastic. The but, Osmond's uh, ultimate collection. And I tell you what, they're all on here at the risk of giving you more gratuitous plugging. Uh, it's all here, look. Crazy Horses, Love Me For A Reason, one of my favourites. We heard a little bit of that. Might be hearing a little bit more of that again later. Yeah. Steady your nerves. Yeah. Terrific. Well, it's the only one I have here. You can have it. Oh, oh, no, I'm having it. You turn. Yeah. The blonde. <laughs> oh, okay. The blonde gets nothing. She gets all the I flirting. I get the merchandise. But I'm over here basically <laughs> to, to introduce the CD. Or people are buying it. I can't believe it. After all these years, they still want to hear the the songs of the past, and we got new stuff coming too. Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's so synonymous with lots of uh, you know fond memories. I mean, we saw Noel Edmonds there as sort of TV legend himself, oh, yeah. looking slightly younger yeah. uh, yeah. on the gills. But it does. It takes you back to the days when uh, Top of the Pops, which was the show, of course, there, and which of course you were on the, many times. W w you know, was this huge phenomenon. Well, this is where we met Paul McCartney. He has been one of the neatest friends. Yeah. This is where he met Zeppelin. This is where he met the Stones. Her Majesty the Queen of England. I she did Top of the Pops? <laughs> <laughs> that's what well done, girl. I don't With remember, the Sex Pistols, was it? I don't, I don't know if anybody, anybody remembers this. Remember when I was, we did that command performance and uh, I was so nervous. I was standing in line waiting to meet her and, yeah. and all of a sudden she came up to me and I, I wet my lips a little bit. Oh, <laughs> And uh, they took pictures of this. Next day, the, in the front page, Meryl Osmond sticks her tongue at the Queen. No. Sticks her tongue at the Queen. No, and all you were doing I was that. I swear to you, that was oh, in the front page. No. But it's interesting that you got nervous because you would think, I mean, you know, you kind of like the, the biggest thing in the world at that time. You wouldn't think that you would be, you know, you know find her, that uncomfortable. But Her Majesty. Well, I guess. Oh, I, you know. But anyway, yeah. we have had so many incredible memories. I've written a book. Mm. Uh, uh, it's, it's just. Being Osmond has been such a such a trip. Well, but crazy it, it, horse is crazy ride, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. I mean, but it, it is a double-edged sword, isn't it? Like everything in life, you know, if you've got the ups, you have to have the downs as well. Oh, yeah. Um, I know that there was a, a fantastic documentary about um, your lives on at the weekend. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see it, but I've heard about nothing else. Everyone's talking about it. And, uh, you know, you've been very frank and honest in there. And, and I think it's really interesting for people to hear that, yeah. you know, although you, you do get all the, the rewards and everything else, there is also a price to pay, there isn't is. there? For for me, and, and there are millions of people that suffer like I have, for me it was depression. Mm. I was depressed ever since I was a kid, didn't even know it. So it was clinical? Yeah, exactly. And, but it, and I tried to, you know, I almost came to the point where I took my life, but intervention came through. I'm a very spiritual mm. man. I love, I love spiritual things. And, uh, and I talk a lot about that in my book. But yeah, you suffer a lot, didn't have a life really, wanted to date, couldn't date because mm. you didn't know who, who was trying to date you or whatever. And then we had, I still have seven death threats on my life right today. Uh, Donnie has like 40. But uh, it's just... Are you furious about where? that? Then? He's got 14, you've only got <laughs> yeah, the seven. Yeah, that's not right. Well, I'd be livid. There's something where wrong is, with that. Where does that come from, though? Where, I mean, where do these death threats Well, a lot of them are, are, are very, very deranged people mm. who uh, want to put you, on a, put you on their wall. Or, they, or they're upset that your wife still has fantasies over you. Mm. There's a lot of strange reasons why. Do you have a genuine fear of that? Do no. You, you don't? I don't. I mean, I believe that there's destiny. I believe that there's a reason for everything. You've got to be careful. Mm. You gotta, what, we have security all over the place, especially back in Utah. But we I'm have a lots very of security with rifles trained mm. on that lovely lady in the yeah, front row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so don't even, don't, don't even think about moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're very normal people. We love our fans. We just love them genuinely. We're going to come back here again. You know, this, this, this CD here has is, is created so much excitement again that all the brothers are waiting for me to get back to tell them what happened here. That's amazing. The early 70s. Well, must the have Jacksons been. are still dear friends of ours. I just talked to Jermaine Did Jackson you? the other day. We're trying to put together something there, too. Yeah, I heard Jackson's tell about that. Tell, how, how, how far down the road? Well, I'm not supposed to, but... <laughs> Since no, it's loose lips. No, but the, the concept is serious. I mean, they, they, have, they have worked just as many years as we have, and we're trying to figure out some way to, to get together for one big final uh, concert. The Osmonds, the Jacksons. That would be a hell of a oh, block. That, that, would be awesome. be that would be incredible, so, wouldn't it? Yeah. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Loose lips, exclusive. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that, Meryl, indeed. Um, what about the new Osmonds, the next generation? Because I know, well, I know yeah. you personally. You've got quite a brood. I mean, I got, did you cough them all up at once? It's like a litter. How well, many kids I, do you have? I have six kids. Yeah. Well, one of my kids is in the booth in there. But uh, I don't know how many grandkids now, but like 40-something. Wow. But Alan's boys are the ones that are out there really doing things now. They're, mm. they're great. 
They, they sing great, they dance great. So we'll see what happens. I have a daughter that's coming out. She's a great singer, good looker. Do you, I mean, do you want them to get into the business, bearing in mind that you know all the pitfalls, or does that mean that you can kind of give them uh, the advice? I would, I don't recommend it, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah. Mm. I just think it's a business that's just so up and down and a little flaky at times. But you know what? There's so much good you can do too. If you're in the business and you can do the right things, help lift people up a little bit, not tear them down. I think there's a responsibility that comes with it. And so I encourage it from that side. But it's a right. tough business. It is a tough business. You know. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah absolutely. Slings and arrows, eh, Mel? Yeah. Ups and downs, the laughter and the tears. It's got it all this show. Should be a musical there. What, what, about, what, what about your other siblings? Are you in touch? I mean, I know that you've had issues like any family, like yeah. we do here, Mel. Yeah. You know your issues, but you, you know, keep them behind closed doors. But how's Donnie? Donnie's great. You know, this, this movie that came out, uh, you might have seen it, or you, you, you didn't see it, but uh, it, we talked a lot about those issues. Uh, there was a strain. Uh, with Donnie and myself in particular, uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't an ego strain because I was trying to help get the brothers moving ahead with the rock and roll stuff that's like they were going on in the 70s, Crazy Horses, Lazy River, Yo-Yo, mm. and all of a sudden it went to the Donnie and Marie show, which was Puppy Love and Go Whale Girl. So the career basically stopped for the brothers. So I was trying to, as one of the the ring leaders of the Osmonds, to keep that on track, and it didn't. Mm -hmm. So we basically went through years and years and years of struggle trying to figure out the direction for the Osmonds, mm -hmm. per se. But uh, everything's great with our family. Donnie and I are best friends. Marie's here in town somewhere. Is she? Yeah. What's she Where doing? are you, Marie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to make Call an appeal in. for her right now? Wait, two double three double seven double nine. Call yeah, us, yeah. Marie. She's, She's over concerned it. about you. She's selling dolls at QVC. Ah, All right, but yeah. uh, I'll find her. Yes. You'll track it down. Yeah. So thanks for all. Idea. Well, it's reassuring yes. to know that you're across it and you're all in uh, touch with each other after all these years. Absolutely. And I take it you've still got a few bob in the bank because we're a little bit concerned that you might. Oh, what do you mean? Well, you know, you've still got a little bit of cash. cash yeah, yeah. yeah. You all right? Oh, sure. Yeah. You know, because you can tap this one for cash. You know, she's oh, yeah. minted. Well, that's one thing. That's one of the upsides of being in this business, isn't it? At least you've got a few bobs stashed away. We, we've, we've obviously made a lot of money. We've lost millions. Yeah. We've lost millions on trusting people. Mm. Right. Uh, that's in the, the documentary that came out. But you know something on the table of mystery? Those people that lose, if they think about what they're losing, and to keep it in perspective, it'll be the greatest loss because you learn something by losing. That's so true. Sound, yeah, pearls of wisdom. You've true. still got it along with the pearly whites. Meryl Osmond, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah.